welcome to YouTube Excel magic trick number six. Hey, remember, if you want to get uh, download this workbook, just click on my channel and click on my college website, and boom, you can download this workbook with all 10 tricks. Hey, and this uh, YouTube Excel magic trick, we want to highlight automatically rows that have greater than $200. I'm going to control ZZ because I was just showing you that doing that stuff by hand is annoying. I want it to be automatically done. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight this range, not the top range, just the um, the data and the white cell. That's important because that's what we'll put it in. It'll be copied all the way down. Now we want to put a conditional formatting. Now the keyboard shortcut for that is Alt and then holding Alt down, O, D. Notice in 2007 it remembers the old 2003 keyboard shortcuts up there, and then D, Alt O D. Now this is much different, this dialog box. I'm going to click Close. In 2003 or earlier, you would see this, and you want to pick Formula As and then click your formula there. I'm going to click Alt O D. In 2007, I got to click New Rule, and then I got to click Use Formula to determine which cells, and now we're all on the same page. Now we're going to use a formula, and here's the key to Conditional formatting. We got to put a formula here that always comes out to either true or false. It only can do two things, true or false. And what I want to say is for this row, whenever the sales are greater than 200, please add formatting to the whole row. I'm going to click on this cell right here, and I'm going to hit the F4 key because we only want our cell reference locked when it's going across the column. See, it's going to this. This dialog box will copy this formula over and down. And since we want the whole row to always look at that dollar amount, we have the dollar sign in just in front of the letter A, but not in front of the A, because when we go down, we want it to look at the next sales. And then say greater than and click on this 200. That's our hurdle. And that wants to be locked everywhere. Then click Format and click Fill in 2007. This is Patterns. I'm going to click Yellow. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. No way! Look at that! That is a way to do conditional formatting for a whole row. Now let's just try this. Let's change this 200 to 100. Whoa! Lots of them. Now let's just change some of these numbers right here. Let's change this to 50. Boop. Let's change this to 75. Boop, boop. Let's change this to 25 cents. Wow, that is just like magic. Let's move this back up to 200. And boom, we can see Isaac sold to customer PCC in the Northwest on 225, 2008. So that's conditional formatting. Alt O D for a whole row. All right, see you next YouTube XL Magic.